Hey friends, it's your favorite twins, Michael and Zach. Many of you think Zach is my boyfriend. No, we're just twins. We are here today to make America gay again. You know, I was the uh, one of few Arabic kids in all white Zeruria. And now you are the first gay, gay Arabic or... person. You are the worst. I was the worst person. They were gonna burn your gay ass. We know you guys love us, but we also know you guys want us to like fuck one day. So it means I always joke about like fucking as a joke. This underwear is made from one of two things. When you're ready to get or you have to take a monstrous sh <laughs> So the <laughs> bottom, the one that's taking the penis, taking dad, dad. Taking the punch. Taking, taking the, the penis. penis. Are you a bottom, dad? On the top. We are waxing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Go to our Instagram and check us out. You can see us in all the underwears. We're like never in clothes, seriously. This is just what happens when two dudes are stuck in a placenta together for nine months. You get lonely. <laughs> Those identical twinks, twins, are the Zakar brothers. They're famous on the gram for making informative videos about homosexuality while groping each other. They might be conjoined at the dong. <laughs> Twins are formed in the vagina when you bang someone on top of a copy machine at work. <laughs> if the Twin Towers taught us anything, it's that when one twin gets hurt, the other definitely feels it. <laughs> and then out of nowhere, Building 7 falls. <laughs> no parent is ever psyched to find out they're having twins. So expensive. The only place you won't have to pay double is at an abortion clinic. <laughs> Andy Garcia was born with a parasitic twin growing on his shoulder. I don't have a joke about that. <laughs> it seems like something we should all be talking about more. <laughs> I still can't tell the Olsen twins apart, but my favorite is the one that didn't murder Heath Ledger. <laughs> I have a ton of questions for the Zakars. That's why I brought those gay Rabian bromos to Hollywood, where everyone tries to look alike for this week's celebrity profile. And twins! Hey, Daniel. Hey! Why are we meeting in your closet? Oh, I am not ready to come out yet. Because I'm afraid of what my dad will think. Of my outfit? The guy's a total fashion foe. Penny Raid! Penny Raid! Zach and Michael. Yep. yep. Say something to each other in that weird twin language. What freaky what? twin thing? I don't think we're like mentally connected, to be honest. Right, you guys don't do the whole lot of finishing each other's sentences. sentences. Oh my mm, God. Got you. <gasps> Bitch, I got you. I'm a twin myself. Unfortunately, my brother's developmentally slow. He's currently trying to get his degree at Florida Atlantic Community College. Beautiful ex-wife. Oh, wouldn't mind to run at that, if you know what I mean. Oh, I know what you mean. What, how old were you when you found out you were gay? Like, when I personally knew I was gay? Or when you said, like, hey, guys, I am, this is... It's a rough road. I had a um, girlfriend. Um, so you're not a gold star gay? I, I had... I grabbed a boob. Oh. Seventh grade, and that's it. I, I was dating a girl, and then I f***ed her brother. That's how I found out I was gay. You f***ed her brother? Yeah. Oh, she's... We're trash. She's got issues. All right, well, when did you guys get into, like, creating an online presence? Well, we went to film school. We dropped film we school, post, obviously. We dropped film school. And, and now we're writing a book. Mm -hmm. And an app. Ah, well, I'm interested. What's the app gonna do? It's called My Twin. It's like a whole anonymous app where you can come out and it's private. So you're out, but it, nobody knows you're out? If you're, in the if you're struggling with the coming out process, you can talk to us personally. What's your ethnicity? Middle Eastern. Part terrorist. No. You're allowed to say that. <laughs> Will you ever go uh, uh, back? To Iraq, f no. <laughs> yeah, so we can die, thanks, I'm good. Yeah, we'll be stoned as soon as we get off the plane. Any advice for all the other gay Iraqi twin brothers out there? Don't come for us, because we're like the only gay Iraqi twins. Do you think your brother is hot? My brother? Yes. Honestly, no. I mean... Do you I think your brother's hot? No. What do you mean, no? <laughs> no, I don't. I have this, like, sexy Aladdin Jesus Ew, look. One, I right. do like the Aladdin no. Jesus yeah. look. Well, I don't find what? myself sexy either. Like, I know I'm cute. Like, if you sleep with me, like, I'm kind of judging you. By the way, do you have individual Instagram accounts or just the ones where it looks no, like you guys like are cling. sexing each other? We're clingy. We're just, like, we're always yeah. together. Yeah. We're a brand. Like Two-for-one deal. So the, I watched the one video where you guys talked about 
having sex with each other. Oh no, my brother is trying to seduce me right now. I literally could feel the sexual tension. Like he is trying to touch me. You were kind of just trolling him a little bit. Oh, when he was high. Yes. Oh uh, yeah. I was yeah. like, we haven't had sex with each other. No, no, no. Not, Not yet. yet. Yeah. But people, people ask. Yeah. The first person I ever French kissed. True story. Was your brother? It was my brother. Really? Yeah. Was it good? No, but like we just like wanted to touch tongues and see what it felt like. I like saw Michael's dick once, and I was like uncomfortable. I think I like went back in the closet just a little. You, bit. When you were uh, cl uh, cloning your dicks. Yes. Okay, so you take the dildo powder they provided and mix it in the water. Pour it into your tube. You're gonna stick your hard dick in here for one to two minutes. They weren't the exact same size. Are you not true identical twins? We're gonna compare whose dick is bigger. I'm the red line. Oh, look at that! But I feel like I want to like. I want to sit on it now. Try getting hard in front of your brother, you know, because it takes 30 seconds to like clean you your really willy. Got you, you get 30 seconds to stick your dick like hard, rock hard, into into like, like mold. I would like, oh, hold on, I'd like to give a man a hand job because that's... I feel like you'd be rough. I feel I mean, like no, you could, let wouldn't. me see your hands. You can hand job. Yeah, actually, you'd be pretty good, you'd be pretty good. Test it out. I don't know. Oh, I so you can't do it. All right, I'll do it, you son of a bitch. Talk about your parents. Are they accepting of your life? Um, style? We think of our mom as Carrie from like Carrie's, Carrie's mom. mother, but yeah. she like locks you in a closet to pray. It's kind of how our mom is. She's very religious, and then like when like, we both came out, we got holy water thrown at us. Did that burn? A <laughs> little bit. Still here. Got a scar here and there. No, she like tried to, to like pray the gateway. Pray the gateway but she still thinks it was a She's, choice. This like before we flew out here, she goes like, "You gonna find a wife out there?" And now I shut her down. I'm like, "Yeah, mom, I'm gonna go s a dick in LA." Like, oh, you say those words. Yeah, words. like, well, I, like, I gotta like, get over it. It's not happening. Her do you, and do you still like love her? No, or just oh yeah, oh, love her. we're no, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're best friends. I, I got a tattoo on her of my thigh, like a sexier version of her. So yeah, when guys blow me, they're looking right at her. <laughs> well, no, no, no one's looking over on your thigh while they're blowing you. She's a little cross-eyed in this tattoo. Yeah, so we're, we're not gonna go that far with it. What's the strangest offer you've received from a fan? We've gotten so many offers to sell our underwear, like used underwear. What can you get for a pair of dirty drawers? I mean, mine go from uh, 100 to 500. Oh, 500 has stinky stains? Yeah. Mm. Do you guys ever get jealous? What in the dickens? Don't mind us. I hired the Property Brothers to expand my closet so I never have to come out of it. So I'm thinking something rustic? Yeah, yet yeah, extremely modern. Just remember, I want an open-minded concept closet. Doable, yeah. And can we lose that shelf? Uh, no, that is a load-bearing shelf. Ugh. Speaking of loads, I have to warn you, there is some black mold in my old undies. And there goes your fondue bar budget. God damn it. We love fondue. Sexy twin fight. I'd like to apologize to the Sklar brothers for not including them in that bit. 